I mean, what started everything. You don't say know. that. <laughs> don't say. Don't say the shot against Josh. Yeah, that was the greatest moment <laughs> because I think that took me from a. If I had any doubts about playing on college level or playing with the big guys, you know, that shot gave me the confidence that I belonged where I was. You know, and that it was, you know, if you put your mind to doing whatever you want to do, you know, good things can happen. You know, so before anything else happened with Michael Jordan outside of that, that game and you know, against you guys, that shot gave me the idea that I could be better than what people think and I can, you know, surpass any expectations that I may have for myself. Let me turn it. What's your greatest disappointment in sports? I haven't had any disappointments. I mean, you know, sports is a, is, is, is a tool that teaches, you know, and it teaches you bad things. It can also teach you good things. It's how you perceive those things. I've looked at every experience that I've had, negative and positive, and, and taken that as a positive. You know, if I wouldn't change anything because I think it would alter some of the other things that happened. You know, so when I look back, I can't say that I've had any bad things happen. Sure, I mean, you don't want bad things to happen, but you deal with bad things. You can't have good or you know, without bad. When you look back at your career, particularly in the NBA, when you started off in the NBA, you did a lot of exceptional things yourself, individually. Right. And then later on, nice. evaluate the difference in the two. Well, I even go back further. I mean, you come out of college, you got a lot of gifted talent and some knowledge from your coach. You know, and you, when you get to the pros, you have to blend that knowledge as well as your individual talent. And you don't know where you stand. You know, you go into, I came into the league thinking I was the last on the totem pole. That was my thinking. I didn't come in thinking I was on top. So I had to work my way past all my teammates and then all guys within the league to prove and establish myself as a basketball player. So, you know, I was gifted. I was talented. You know, I knew how to play the game. I didn't know how to play the game on the professional level. I had mm -hmm. to learn that. And it took some years of learning, watching Magic Johnson, watching Larry Bird, let, to see how they can play, you know, impact games when they're not scoring. Or, you know, they score four points. They I tell people that from my observation of you, you're one of the most competitive individuals that I've ever seen. I would imagine if you were playing jacks with somebody, <laughs> you'd want to kill them. Uh, have you ever met anyone that you felt was as competitive as you are? Um, no. I just feel that, you know, my, my competitive drive is, is far greater than anyone else that I've met. You know, I think that I thrive on that. I think that's my biggest motivation in life, you know, is to 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 compete, you know, find different competitions and certain things in life and, and, and try to overcome that, you know, be it positive or negative. But uh, I have yet to meet someone who is as competitive as me, you know, and I just feel that much confident about my competitive drive. I want to ask you some true and false questions. Just three. Just three. Okay. Just three. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player ever. False. Why? Because I didn't play. Had he stayed with baseball, would be playing in the big leagues now. I believe that. Uh, a lot of people may not, but I believe that. And I, I gave, for that short amount, I was truly there for the love of the game. You know, I was up at 6 o'clock with bloody blisters all over my hand, just trying to, trying to show that I could play this game. I grew up playing this game. I was, you know, I, I love baseball. And at the time that I stepped away, was a time where you know I was being asked to be you know, being thrown into a, you know a situation that involved you know baseball strikes and things of that nature, and that was never my intent. You know, so I kind of walked away before you know before I was thrust into that whole event. Michael Jordan will absolutely never play in another NBA game after this season. That's that's a fact. Uh, I will not play in another NBA game. You know, I would play basketball. I'm glad you said NBA game. But, I, I mean, I got kids who love the game of basketball. I got friends who love to talk trash about me. I got a lot of young kids who love to compete against me at my camp. I'm still going to play the game of basketball. But from an NBA standpoint, that's it. This is the, the last year. I see them do things that you can't even dream about, though.